boys us around the world live from the world of famous MGM it's prime time heading out of the red corner wearing lavender trunks training in Dallas Texas and hailing 134 and one half pounds he is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with a record of eight way of knockout tonight he is making his first attempt at the world title ladies and gentlemen rank contender introducing Frank the Ghost Martin and his opponent across the ring the defending world champion Vitram hailing from Baltimore Maryland he weighed in at a trim and ready one he did in his tremendous campaign in the ring with a record of 29 wins no losses he is the young star of boxing and popular pound for pound great five-time three-way division world champion and the current undefeated reigning world introducing Chihante. Once again, a referee in charge, Harvey Dunn. Earlier, as a reminder, obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch him up. Good luck. The referee for our main event, scheduled for 12 rounds for Javante Davis' 135 pound. Davis returns after a career long 14 month layoff. He says he returns to change man. And now focused on Frank the Ghost Martin. The bell and round one. Buster's theme is team has t shirts with who you gonna call? Well, Martin says he's gonna tonight. Yeah, and if you're Martin, you definitely want to start putting those rounds together early on. We know that, uh, that, yep. that perhaps for the, in this fight in it's particular, Davis not might a slow start, start. It's deliberate start. It's strategic yeah. footwork you will ever see. Joe, who's good at using the jab, the counter, is an amazing athlete, was an all standout career, and now working under the tutelage of Eric James. He is primed here tonight. But Frank Martin is an exceptional athlete. He can pose a lot of problems tonight. You want to sell it for Davis? Of course, it's all about low output, high accuracy, and just a savant when it comes to it. We saw what he did in what he called the best knockout of his career as he took advantage of Leo Santa Cruz 2020 knockout of the year. But here, very much typical of a Tervante Tank Davis fight. Lose the jab and again, both of them are self -pulled. Absolutely. And Martin so far with jabs. There's a jab from Tank. But Martin's been landing the left hand of the body and the average is about 48 punches around. Under a minute left here, smart pressure. Yeah, both fighters really alert right now. Hands were low and then an explosive. His punch delivery system, second to none, but Martin putting the pressure on Davis. Sticking out of that corner when he got trapped in the corner. Oh, his footwork is amazing. He got under and around and ended up picking Tank up. High guard of Tank Davis, under 20 seconds left in the opening round. Nice, beautiful triple jab right there. I don't know when he's going to throw, especially in that left hand. He's so quick with it. Got good body shot by Frank. Taking it around and landing 11 punches compared to... All right, here we go. We got a little replay of Martin. There's a good straight. And that's the one we're going to show you, although Martin landed quite several uh, left hands to the butt. Martin immediately goes up the attack, sneaks a shot into the body of Tank Davis. This both of them waiting for one or the other to make a mistake, really. Tank putting on real work. Exactly what he said he was going to do. He's got to do it. 
and, and this is nothing new for Frank Brown. This is Jay. He really was incredible in that what was supposed to be a 50-50 fight against nice. uh, the then unbeaten Michigan. It's not took a little bit in his last fight against the unheralded Artem Artunian, but he showed that clutch gene. He made more aggressive. So again, high IQ, compact, short punches. There's a counter left hand to the body from Frank Martin. Gives <laughs> you sense that anything can happen in any counter to the body by Davis. We can both have so alert. And there's a lead left hand. Davis misses. Right. Davis missed there with a sweeping right hook. Right, right. You saw uh, Frank Martin. Keep it up for 12 rounds. Not just keep it up for get the respect of Tank with a hard shot. And this is the wrestling match where Martin allegedly landed a, a left hand on Davis and then it became a wrestling match. So a lot of bad blood wanting to keep Tank at bay, utilizing the jab. We're at the end of two. Good round. Still looking good, still looking good.
with some solid body shots on Frank Martin. That was an arm punch. Watch your hands, watch your hands. Take damage as we miss with some punches. Free. And you know if you get clipped by one of those, you're in trouble. And very much going according to what I guess will bank early rounds and then we'll see what would happen in the second half of the fight. Well, Tank even went public on so 30 seconds left and Martin said, hey, watch it. I, I could knock out Tank Davis too, you know. Take a look at your Martin. No way. Davis, Davis That's is reading you. Instantly he'll respond to this. The left hand. Davis told 
was his favorite. The best knockout was the 2020 knockout of the year against Leo Santa Cruz. Two. To pressure Tank in the early going to try to really bring it to him. And, and again, Martin is doing what Martin can left now here in the first half of the fight. you got to believe that based on what we've seen, Martin.
replay from every other single fight he's had. He loses the first couple of rounds. More than even the yeah, most yeah. And he finishes you. This is, this is going to be something to see this replay. I know we're going to be talking about that. He's just setting himself up for big trouble here. There's the uppercut, and there's the left hand. Already halfway out. The left hand just put him completely out, and that was the end of the game. Oh, Gervonta Davis, love and life. 14 months layoff, the longest layoff. He closed the show emphatically. I don't know who's going to beat this guy at what the readable. You know? That left hand is just lethal. Yeah. Whether it's a straight left to Avis is legendary. Yeah. Wow. Stunned yeah. Martin with that left. Yeah, the left uppercut. Now his hands are down. Now he's defenseless. Right there. Oops, he was doing well. Center of the ring like we talked about. So he, he kind of hated and abetted his own demise. Yikes. He sticks the landing, he sticks the back, and he is a bad man, improving to 30 and 0 with his trumpage for Tank Davis and for Frank Martin. Goes down to defeat for the Frank Davis, shaking off whatever rust there could have been in after 14 months, figured it to see because his show consists of two letters K O and O. <laughs> Let's make it official with the one and only, the classic. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute. 29, Doc reaches the count of 10. He is the winner by way of knockout. He is the great champion of the world, Cervante. And Chip Gray is going to be talking to Tank Davis. All right, Morrow, thank you very much. Up almost where you left off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little crusty, a little rusty, but it's okay. I'm back. Just though that I ain't uh, warm up completely like how I wanted to. Well, I did warm up, but I got cold as. Did his footwork bother you at all in those early rounds? Because he was winning the early rounds. No, no, his footwork wasn't. Uh, uh, that's why I was going. I was just standing there. Be a target for him just so he can tie himself out and once he tied monitor it was a bit of a target is it hurting right now yeah it's a little like like uh like a little chart but i'm okay first let me ask you did things turn around in the seventh round did you start to figure out i know i haven't go ahead i thought it was a hover card first i yeah, think it was. i'm gonna go Boom, that's what it was. That's what it sounded like. God dang. Greatest <laughs> <laughs> place. I mean, really, do you feel that these guys can compete with you once you get into the later rounds? They get in there with me, but, you know, I've been around for this a long time. You know, I've been training since I was seven years. It come with, it's like second nature, you know what I mean? So it's just about, you know, staying focused, staying my own top. You've said this week, and you've said to me tonight, that what you went through, the incarceration. Just patience and things like that, just stuff happening in life where you gotta go through it and not try to get around better everything, you know what I mean? Wanna be a better athlete as I uh, continue to build and... And, and, uh, and Lomachenko, everybody's talking about that. There's Stevenson, uh, there's Pitbull Cruz. I wanna just, you know, uh, get back to the drum boy, get back in the gym, you know, and just stay focused, I, I felt it all. And most importantly, I wanna thank everybody that came out, everybody that tuned in, Everybody that was, uh, uh, Amazon Prime, uh, Leonard, uh, Errol Spence, uh, Def, thank you all for, uh, uh, for this great event. Tank, congratulations. Fantastic. Frank, you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. All good. You were doing really, did you feel like you were in control of this fight? I felt like in the beginning I was in control, then got a little too comfortable. It wasn't presenting itself. I stopped doing my movement, you know. I stopped doing my movement. He was able to land more shots on me. Was your success or your feeling of success the reason you got comfortable? Uh, no, I wouldn't say it was my figure out what I could do to slow the pressure down from him coming. You know, I wasn't trying to move too much to kind of slow it down a little bit and kind of pace myself instead of moving so much. But, uh, you know, he, he uh, it was a shot I didn't see. When you know it's the guy's strategy, and let's take a look, and you can tell us where you get caught here. That up. Yeah. Really, I, they always say, they've been telling me, you know, the shots you can't see is the ones that come from underneath. 
and that's the shot he landed, you know, and he, no problem, no problem, appreciate it. Thank you. All right, Marl, back to you. All right, Jim, thank you. Three power shots, that 70% in round seven and eight, and in tonight's main event, the brilliance of Gervonta Tank Davis and the beauty, full display. We close out the 100th championship fight night at MG Davis. He is shining brighter than the Sin City Strip. And now to put a capstone on my main man, Brian Custer, is going.